nothing that way, nothing that way. I'm just kind of surveying the grounds right now to see if I can find a nice location. We're gonna be photographing moms and dads and family, wedding party, we gotta go very quickly. We got about 45 minutes down here and we gotta head up to the church. Uh, so I'm just kind of surveying quickly because when they all arrive, we're gonna be going right to work and we gotta just nail these photographs in a very short amount of time. Uh, sun's still kind of bright, not going behind so many clouds this time. So I'm looking for kind of a shady spot that I can put the people in so that they're not going to be squinting or anything, but the background still opens up and I'm going to use a long lens to throw the background out of focus. I'm still kind of surveying. We don't have everybody here yet, so I still got a few minutes to kind of get my act together before everybody shows up. kind of scoped out an area right over here. We got some shade here. The sun is actually setting right over there. So whenever I'm working outdoors like this, the easiest way to get out of trouble when you work dealing with the sun is always put the sun behind the people. That'll put their faces in shade. And then I can let Mark with my off-camera flash come in here and illuminate those faces and put highlights next to shadows for the detail, depth, and dimension that I talk about all the time. So I'm looking for an open shade. We'll try to get the sun behind them. And hopefully my background will still hold together for me too pretty well. So I've actually decided on this spot right here, it's shady. The sun is pretty well blocked by the trees. But another thing I like too, is I don't have any really, really bright spots behind them. If I went down there, I had all the sky, hot spots, kind of detracts from everybody. But shooting this way, I've got the trees right there, the canopy of the trees, and even more trees behind them. So when I put my long lens on the camera, that should really go very, very soft and really give me a nice background, particularly when I'm doing my regular groups. It's a little windy here today. <laughs> we're gonna have some dresses blowing, some hair blowing, but we're gonna at least start out here to see what happens. Plan B then would be up on the, uh, on the porch area of the country club. So I'm gonna have Nicholas bring everybody over here and we'll go ahead and get started. And I don't need, for you guys up at church, I really don't need anything. I'm just gonna get a couple of them right at church, really? like afterwards or whatever. And then we're back down here and, if, and you guys are totally finished. Once we leave here, you're all totally finished. We go to limo after the You can, yeah. Can I stash the rest is out. Ow! <laughs> Thank you, coach. Is this the first tee, Harry? Right by number one, nice trees in the background. I think the wind, the trees will kind of cut down. So we're gonna do like moms and dads and families first here. And then we'll let you guys hang up back at the clubhouse and we'll do wedding party. And then uh, Miss Anne, we'll get a few of you and Mike here and up at the clubhouse and then up to church. We gotta be heading up to church by, what does? 5.15. About 5.15. Jump over here, cause I think it's the only place you got room. Okay, happy, happy! Get even closer, everybody. Harry, give your daughter a hug. Get behind her. Get behind her a little bit, Harry. Yeah, do get behind her. Harry, get behind her. Hand out of the pocket. Bring it right on her, right on her elbow. Get in close. Get in close. All righty, again. Kind of back away from her just a little. Right there, happy. Chin down, Kathy. Again, Harry, closer, closer. Missy, happy, happy. Mike, turn a lot more towards. Missy, good, kick your left foot out towards me. Uh, and bend your elbow up like you're escorting Kathy. And Kathy, take his arm like he's a, like walking you down the aisle or something. All righty, good, good, good. Sneak behind her, left foot forward. And Kathy, I like you ho hanging on to Mike's arm. Looking good again. Well, you got somebody teeing off back there. Kick your left foot out this way a little bit more good and you're gonna love it can I get the whole group to shift this way just a couple feet Amy getting closer behind Missy closer happier everybody all righty good 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 Keith wonderful Lauren Missy lean towards Mike a little group hug all righty again again here we go all righty one more <laughs> oh my gosh it's magical Magical. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. I want to get you and Missy, and then Kathy and Missy, and then the both of you, and then we're going to bring in Mike's family. 
All right. Oh my gosh, the camera's warmed already to the touch with you guys. All right, I want you guys to give mom a big hug. Get in close. Hugging on her, hugging on her, Mike. You're good, never mind. Everybody again, looking terrific. Miss Lauren, beautiful, all right, again. So our spot here has really worked well. I've got a 70 to 300 millimeter lens on my Canon 5D Mark II, and it has racked out the 300 millimeters. What's that doing, what that's doing at f5.6, is really throwing the background nicely out of focus and separating the subject from the background. That way our eyes, viewer's eyes, are going right to the subjects. Great expressions, sharp on the subject, background soft, makes a gorgeous wedding photograph. And again, once I find a spot, I'm just going to move the people in and out. I'm going to bring the moms and the dads in, then the groom's moms and dads. We've got the family groups done. We know we got them nailed. And we're going to bring the wedding party in, girls first, guys, everybody together. It really depends on how available everybody is when we're doing this. But that's typically the procedure and typically the sequence that I'll be shooting at a wedding. As I said, it's not locked in stone. It changes from wedding to wedding. But how it's working here today is working beautifully. We're going to finish up with a photograph of the guys, the whole wedding party together. I'm going to catch my breath for about 30 seconds. We'll get a couple more of the bride and groom here, and then we're going to kind of work the area over here by the, uh, by the building over here, the clubhouse. And that should wrap us up here, and then we're heading up the church. Aaron, let me have you ride on over here. Yuli, let me have you ride over here next to Missy. Everybody, up, pair, everybody else pair up with your partner. Just kind of hit the same positions we did up at Prospect Point. How about that? I need my 24-105 if anybody's around. <laughs> Happy, happy. All righty, happy, happy. Group hug, everybody. Get in close, get in close. Touching heads, touching cheeks. Get in closer, closer. All righty, good, good, good. More, more, more. Mike, be happy out there. Happy, happy. More teeth. There you go, again. <laughs> Mary, there you go. All righty. Beautiful. Real smile again. So what I got going, what I got going on here are these beautiful trees coming in, or the, the trees surrounding you and the clouds coming right on in. I'm gonna turn you this way even more. This left foot coming forward. Good, 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 and again. All right, you guys can relax. Let's get some up by the clubhouse and we're good to go then. All right, we got some good stuff here. So I'm Catch you guys up there in just a second. Just a couple things around there and we're all wrapped and heading to church. All right, we got like a few minutes to go. I still gotta pull off a couple more photographs, some good portraits of Missy close up and a couple of Mike close up too. We're gonna try to do that in the surrounds up here and then we have that up to church because the ceremony starts in just a few minutes. Let's go. Missy, let me have you by yourself, just right up, not pillar one, but just beyond pillar two, and then just leaning against the railing. Perfect. Good, good, good. Bring the flowers, hold the flowers up with both hands, just like you're relaxing. Lean this way a little bit more, chin down a little bit more. Easy, easy, easy. Might come closer, you're gonna get heads touching. Light them up this time, Mark. Get really close for me, four feet away. Four feet away first. Give him eighth power. All right, good. You guys can relax. We are on our way to church. I'll just show you real quick. Um, those are cute. I like those. Look at the ones. These are the ones I like. Yeah. I love those. Yeah. Oh. Pretty cool? Yeah, definitely. I love them. Hey, good luck. Thank you. We'll catch right. you guys. I'm Thank not kissing you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to head to church. We'll catch you guys up there then. Okay, sign Thank this real quick and you're right 
Well, we knew we were running out of time, but I still wanted to get some really nice photographs of them right here in the porch area of the club. We got that soft light coming on in, and I thought that would really give us some nice, beautiful lighting on the bride's face. I think we pulled off some really cool images of both her, and we brought Mike in, and we got some great photographs of both of them together. A couple of things there, I did want to throw a little bit of light on both of them, so I even had, uh, my, or even had uh, Mark just bring the light in on her face with my off-camera uh, flash, just to light up faces just a little bit more. Then I went very, very tight on them to get just nice, quick, or nice, easy huggy kinds of photographs as well. So we got beautiful full lengths. We picked up the natural surrounds, came up here with only minutes to go. We got a couple nice photographs right here with the soft porch light coming in here and then went in really tight with some auxiliary light, close up auxiliary light that gave me the soft light in our faces too. So we are running about 10 minutes behind schedule. We got to get up to the church. We're about uh, 15 minutes away and it's about 30 minutes to show time. So let's jump in the cars and get scooting.